Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to look at solving literal equations. Okay, solve for p, solve for y. It's solve for one variable in terms of the uh, of some others. All right, today's objective, of course, to solve literal equations. The essential question, again, you'll need this for the homework check. How do we solve for one variable in terms of other variables? You know, how do we solve for one letter in terms of other letters, not just in terms of other numbers? Don't just give me a number. Right, in terms of other variables. Guys, again, we always start with a quick review of what we're looking at. Again, the solution of equations, the value of values of the variable, which makes the equation true. Now, these properties of equality and inverse operations to solve an equation by isolating the variable on one side of the equal sign and putting everything else on the other side. Again, when solving, we often have to combine like terms, and like terms are terms with the same variable configuration, the exactly the same variable configuration, the letters and the exponents. An equation, it often has a, a parentheses in there that represents multiplication. But we need to get rid of the parentheses, so we use distribution to get rid of the parentheses. Okay, this is the start of the new stuff. Okay, sometimes we're given a formula such as something from geometry, and you'll have geometry next year. We need to solve for one variable in terms of one or more other different variables. This process of solving a formula for some specific variable is called solving literal equations. In other words, you take a formula with lots of variables and solve the equation for one particular variable. All right, as an example, here's the formula for the area of a rectangle. Area equals base times height. But we might want to solve it for the area of the base, or I'm sorry, the length of the base. We might be given the area, we might be given the height, we want to know what the base is. So again, you just divide both sides by H to get the B by itself. We're solving for B. Get the B by itself. All right, so you have to get rid of the H. You do that by dividing the, both sides by H. So you end up with A over H. That's what B equals, okay? And it's okay to write the B on the other side. That's okay, too. If these are flipped around, it means the same thing. All right, next thing, this is the perimeter of a rectangle. You have a length and a width. And it's, you know, two times the, the length plus two times the width. That's the perimeter. But maybe we want to solve for the width. We want to solve for W. We want to get the W by itself. Not the P by itself. We want the W by itself. So first, here's the W right here. We got to get this 2L first to the other side. So we subtract 2L from both sides. And now it's on this other side. It's negative. All right, so this side it says 2W, but you got to get the W by itself. So divide everything by 2. Divide everything by 2, and that's how you get your answer. You get the W by itself. Here's another example. It says Q equals C plus D divided by 2. It's kind of like a, an average. You add them up and divide by 2. All right, but maybe we want to solve for D. We want to solve for D. D is up here. So we got to get this D by itself. So first we multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2. That's what we do right here. Multiply both sides by 2. So this side now has 2Q. All right, then you have C plus D on this side. You want the D by itself. So take the C and subtract it from both sides. All right, it disappears on the right side, and it appears on the left side now as a negative because we subtracted C from both sides. And then we have our answer, 2Q minus C. That's what D equals. There's another example. It's a good one. 
v equals 3k over t. All right, so let's take a look at the first one. We want to get the t. We're solving for t. We want the t by itself. All right, so first let's multiply both sides by t. We've got to get the t up top on this side. All right, so I multiply both sides by t. So the t on the right side disappears and shows up on the left side. And you all think of it like this. You see the, the t on the bottom? I can just pick it up and move it to the other side up top. Just pick it up on the bottom on this side and put it up top on this side. You can do that. I just multiply both sides by t. All right, so this side here is tv equals 3k. But we want the t by itself. All right, so divide out the, the v. Divide both sides by v to get rid of the v. So the v now disappears from the left side and shows up on the right side underneath. It's as if, look at the beginning here, I took the v right here and just moved it underneath on the other side. Just moved it underneath. All right, now I want you to pay attention to this. Look at the very top where we started, v equals 3k over t, and look at the bottom. It says t equals 3k over v. When you're given something like this and you're solving for what's in the denominator, the v and the t can just switch places. When the v and the t just switch places, what you did was multiply both sides by t and divided both sides by v. All right, that's a quick little trick you can use if you want. All right, that's it, guys. Again, you can look at the homework check. You can do it here at home if you want. We'll look at it in class tomorrow. Um, the vocabulary words, guys, I want you to know what it means to solve a literal equation. And given a formula like this, A equals B over C. If we're solving for C here in the denominator, what's a nice, easy way to do that, okay? That's it. Thank you.